Bonjour à tous, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we have <laughs> what everybody is talking about on YouTube right now. Yes, it's the Insta360 Go Free camera, action camera from Insta360. I'm getting mine, I'm not going to do uh, tons of review like you see on YouTube everywhere, anyway, right now. It's no point, I'm a little bit late on the fashion right now, and that's because I put myself the camera with my own money. I'm not sponsored in any case by Insta360, so I got the camera as soon as it was available to the public. And of course, as usual, I will give you my real review and based review of the product, but not in deep review. You have that, like I said, everywhere on YouTube. I just want to show you an unboxing video of what is inside the box. But anyway, I do not have just the camera. I also got those uh, custom skin from uh, Insta360. I don't know if you can see, here we go. Insta360 custom skin that uh, come apparently in two. So when you order only one on the website, you get two in the box. So that's good to know. And I'm going to show you how to install those on the GoPro free camera. So keep watching. You will have unboxing and installation of those. And it's not finished. I also got <laughs> the official carry case from Insta360. Here we go. The carry case that I saw on our website. I'm going to do an unboxing of that and a first look of the case and how everything fit nicely inside it, hopefully. And to finish, I also get an extra pair of those lens guard, lens protection. Here we go. That you screw on the go free and that will give you an extra peace of mind when you use your camera in action style. Of course, this camera is meant to be mounted everywhere on your hat, on your bicycle, on your e-scooter and everything. But of course, that way it will receive like damage on the lens from a stone that will fly toward the lens or it may fall down and uh, fall. Of course, they do, those cameras tend to fall lens first on the floor. That will always happen. So it's good to have extra set of lens guard at order this set. And normally in the box, there should be two of those. So when you order the extra protective uh, lens guard, they give you two in the box, not only one for the price, because I, I believe it was like $9.99 or something like that. But we are going to check that, open the box as well. Well, everything is there, everything is ready. Now let's go to the unboxing. And now let's start by unboxing the camera itself. And here we go, right when we open the box, we see the camera right there, which is attached to the box magnetically. So as you can see, talk. There's a magnet right there in the back and there is a warning sticker here that will tell you that the back of the camera is meant to dissipate heat and can be hot. So be careful with that when touching it after using the camera for a while. But of course, once you are done reading it, you can peel it out. And it will reveal this famous back here with the connector here that connect to the action pod. And since we are here, also we do have a protective sticker on the lens that you can remove right now if you want, like me. And here we go. That's the camera. Very small, very lightweight. You can see compared to my hands. And for the lightweight, here is the weight of the camera in ounces to give you a better idea of how light it is. As for the camera itself, here you do have microphone, uh, you have three of them, three little microphone pinhole. Here is the status light that will turn red when recording, etc. Here where you have the Insta360 logo, I don't know if you can see it, it's like very shiny but hard to see Insta360 logo and that's the off on button and the record button, you just push in this area to do your recording and turn on or off the camera. And of course, in the back, we do have here the clamp to be sure that even when the camera attach magnetically to something, there will be a clamp system here to make the attachment more secure. And that's all for the camera. Let's see what's next in the box. Ta-da! Right there, we do have a user guide, like a quick guide system. So if you don't want to browse through the big user manual, you can have a quick look to this guide. And also on the back of the quick guide here, you can scan this QR code and go directly to the website to download the app or see more tutorial about the camera. All right, next, there's a tab to pull out. Oops, 
So there is something inside here already. I have the feeling that that's the huge user manual I was telling you about before, but there is also uh, some accessories, so I'm going to open it. Ah, uh, here we go. We do have the USB-C charging cable. And let's open the other side. Here we do have this pendant, magnetic pendant adapter. It's like a plate that uh, you can use to point your camera down or up when you are using the magnetic pendant around your neck. So that's the adapter for it. And silica thing and of course more user manual and quick start guide. And that's all for this part of the accessory. Now, bottom of the box, what they call the easy clip. So that's the clip where you can put the camera and then you can put it on different angles. It has some key here. You can hear, clack, clack. So it's keyed. So you can set it up on the direction you like and it will stay like that. And it can also clip here on your cap or on your backpack uh, strap, uh, etc. where you want to put it. And of course the camera will up <laughs> magnetically just stay there and then you can keep it where you want and it's really in i really have to put some force to remove it so that's great at least when it's going to be shaking the camera is not going to fall even if this uh, support does not uh, use the same uh, hook system that the action pod has here it will just stay well and <laughs> you can shake it like crazy it's not going anywhere it's very <laughs> very in correctly and on the back here, we do have a warning sticker here that says that uh, you have to be careful to don't damage the uh, supports or scratch it with your finger when you manipulate it. You can remove that. Originally, I thought that uh, this surface will be sticky, so you can stick that somewhere for convenience. But this does not have this uh, sticky surface. It's just like some kind of rubber, rubber pad here. All right, next in the box, we do have here the neck pendant where you can mount your camera around your neck. And here they give you some example. You can remove, of course, this sticker if you want. Have your neck pendant, here we go, looks much nicer. And also what they do, it's like they put all the necklace around here. So you have a compartment here, so you can unwrap your necklace and take as much length as you want. And once you are happy with it, here we go, you can hop, <laughs> put it in the, there is like two slit here and you can put it there or you can even adjust with those little tab here if you prefer to adjust it that way to match your neck diameter. So here we go. And when you are done with it, you can just roll it back inside like so. Okay, next in box, of course, here is the action pod. I can feel definitely as soon as I pick it up, it's much heavier than the camera itself. Of course, it has the battery integrated and all the little electronic, including the LCD screen, which is here. So, of course, the camera and the pod will be a little bit heavier, but it's about the size, I will say, than a GoPro. It's even square as a GoPro, so there you go. Of course, going to remove the protective, here we go, plastic to reveal the hook here on the side for the camera with the connector here to connect to the Go Free. And that's pretty much it. On the side here, we do have the power and the quick setting button. On the top, we do have the shutter button or the recording button if you prefer. On this side, we do have the release button. So you press that to release the camera, to release this little hook you can see. So this little hook will be released and then you can remove your camera safely. Here is your USB-C charging port. And here even you have a warning sticker that tells you to not force your camera out. It will not be held just by magnets. You will have to press this release button when you are removing your go free from the action pod. So now that I know that, I can remove this sticker. And then you have even a little lock here that will tell you that's the button for the unlocking hook system. And here we go in the back. We do have the LCD screen, 
with a warning sticker again, letting you know that you cannot put that in the water. Only the Go Free camera itself, it's waterproof at 16 feet. I believe it's five meter, so it should be around five meter. And this pod, this action pod, it's only splash proof, like a little bit of rain is okay. But do not place your uh, fresh out of the water camera uh, right there in the action pod. Let's see here in the room. Uh, when it's all wet, dry it first, and then you can place it in the action pod. And as you can see, as soon as I place my camera there, it starts to recharge because all those gear are usually charge only at 50% by the manufacturer so you may need to fully charge everything at 100% before the first use but that's how it looked like with the camera in it now we have like a mini gopro system <laughs> except that you can detach here we go press the button here and you can detach your camera like so and i will remove this sticker later because i'm afraid to scratch this screen for now maybe i will get the screen protector but for now, I leave the sticker. I just want to show you that you can, using the little slot on the side there, you can just grab the screen and slowly move it up. There we go. And now you will have some uh, vlogging camera ready. You can look yourself in the screen while you vlog uh, in this configuration. So that's great. And you can hold the camera like that. Uh, be careful though, I just realized if you hold your camera like so, your finger will be here touching the off on button and the quick setting button that may interfere with the camera recording. So if you want to hold it like that, it's maybe not advised. Plus you have also the unlock button right there. So I suspect uh, you may want to hold it in the base like that maybe, but it's not as good. Or you may want to hold it maybe like so to avoid touching or maybe like so to avoid touching any of the button in the action pod. Let's put this uh, system uh, aside. I'm going to fold the screen now. Put it there. Let's see what else in the box. We haven't finished unboxing everything. Here is the base that have the sticky pad here. So here is the famous sticky pad. I will let you know again another warning sticker on it, which tells you that uh, if you messed up the sticky pad with the dust and everything, you can rinse it in water. And of course, when you are done using it, you should always put the cover back on it. So there we go. The sticky pad base with the one quarter screw, tripod screw here. And we have the bracket here. There we go. The famous uh, bracket that will hold. There's no screw to set it up. You just like have to force it in the position you want. And it should stay in whatever position you are placed into. And of course on the base, it has this uh, one quarter tripod tread where you can screw on the tripod or you can use, here we go, now we can use the sticky base and reveal the sticky pad. <laughs> reveal the sticky pad. Now there is another warning sticker <laughs> that says that uh, of course you need to use it in a clean surface, that you have to press it for 10 seconds on the surface, uh, at least 10 seconds, and then after 30 minutes, so you have to wait until 30 minutes to start messing with it or maybe mount your camera on it to have the best sticky functionality. And of course, to use it only between 0 to 40 degrees Celsius or 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's double check the pad. All right, that's sticky. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And I'm going to place right away the protective plate on it. And here we go, finally. That's all for the box. And that's all for the unboxing of the 360 camera itself. And here we go, in the box of the 360 Go free camera, we do have the camera and the action pod. We have the support here with the sticky base that I already screwed on it. We do have the clip, uh, the mounting clip here. And of course the neck support, the necklace magnet that comes with the adapter here. And of course the charging cable, USB-C to USB charging cable. That's all the accessory that came with the Insta360 Go Free camera system. And time to unbox the lens guard. And in the box, we do have this uh, lens guard installation guide, of course. And here they are two lens guard as described. So two extra lens guard because on my camera I already have one. 
that is pre-installed on the Go 3. So that's just the spare one in case if I damage my lens guard, which comes with the camera, I have two spare one. Just keep in mind, the guys, that anything from the Go 2 will not be compatible with the Go 3. So all accessories that you get for your Go 2 camera will not work with the Go 3 for some reason. The spec, the camera itself, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. And uh, I suspect that even the lens is a little bit wider than the Go 2. Next in the box that I saw falling down, it's, here you go, that's soft cloth Insta360 branded that will uh, help you to clean your lenses before you install your lens guard. Another accessory for the Go 3, it's the quick release mount. Here we go, so that's the mount that allows you to use the Go 3 with your GoPro accessory, your GoPro mount, because it has those little uh, flap under that you can use with all the GoPro accessory. And of course, the hook and the magnet support here, where you can put your Go 3 on and lock it securely. So let's open the box, see what this uh, accessory looks like. Here we go. And let's open the little flap here. Use a manual in case if you need one for that. Here they warn you about the fact that the camera will use a hook, not only magnet. So you have to be careful, don't pull out without pressing, of course, the release button first. And that you have to be sure that the camera is firmly secure onto the mount before starting to record anything you need. So that's important. That way your camera is not going to fall down when you use this mount. What's included in the box? It's of course the mount itself. So I see that uh, it has a one quarter thread here. That means you can install that on the tripod as well. So that's great. And of course, those little flaps to install it in all your GoPro mounts, uh, GoPro accessory. So that's great. And on the top, we do have the hook and the release button on the side here. I see some plastic here. Protective plastic I'm going to remove now. There we go, all nice and shiny now. Next in the box, hey, about GoPro, they give you one of those adapters in case if you need, so that's cool. Along with, of course, this screw, this GoPro style screw. Here we go. So you can mount that here and you can use this adapter with your mount. And also in the box, we do have some free aim tape here, here and here. And that's all for the box. And the last accessory for the Insta Go Free, Insta360 Go Free that will go in the case, it's this, uh, the mini two-in-one tripod. So let's open the box and see what it looks like. Review time and voila. All right, we do have a bunch of stuff there. Let's see, user manual, some extra tape here. Free and tape to put here in the bottom of the GoPro adapter. This allows you to fit some smaller accessory in case the accessory does not fit well in the GoPro bracket system here. You can use those gaskets to give an extra thickness. And now let's see here, we do have the tripod itself. They give you here. So it's basically you can hold it with your hands. You can use it, of course, as a tripod like so. But also you can use it as a selfie stick as you can extend it. Here we go, a little bit. And then you can use it as a selfie stick to take video of yourself from further away. Here we go. And of course included, it's this GoPro to one quarter screw tripod style screw. So you have GoPro mounts to tripod mounts or tripod screw. And here we have two of those quick release or quick lock screw system. The way that works is just like you put that here up inside and you lock that way. It's supposed to work better and faster, of course, than the classic GoPro screw. So there we go. And the last but not the least unboxing we have to do today, it's the 
carry case itself, uh, the special Insta Go Free carry case. So let's open the box and see how everything fits inside. And reveal time, ta-da! It actually looks very nice. I like the color, this uh, anthracite color, with of course the Insta360 logo here on the bottom right corner. Let's remove it from the box. That's all for the box. All right, so it's hard shell box. Only the logo in the front, except also here on the zipper. So you only have one zipper and here you have a wrist strap here. You can put it around your wrist, hold it like so. so that could be useful. Now let's open it and see inside. And ta-da! They do give you, here we go, a quick uh, user manual to let you know where things go. So that's great. Let's see, according to the user guide, you have to put the camera inside the action pod, like so, and then you put it in the case here. Funny enough, my camera is still charging. We're well, just like putting it on a case for storage. Then you have the easy clip here that sits here. Then they have a special compartment, look at that, right here for the magnet pendant and the adjustment bit here. Now we have the slot for the pivot stand here, I guess, like so. Uh, that's not like <laughs> how it goes. Actually, you have to unscrew it from the base. And here is the shape where it goes next. So you have to put it like so. And you will see it goes perfectly up in the slot for it. And that way, of course, you can close the case, even having accessory here in this pouch without any problem. So, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's the proper way to put it inside the case. And now that I have all the accessory I need to complete the case, I can finally put, here we go, the tripod here and the quick release mount here. And there we go. The set is complete now, ready to go to my next filming location. Okay, time to open the custom skin box. Let's see what they look like. And then we are going to install one of those on the camera. And of course, the second one will be in case if I messed up, I guess. It's always good to have two, just in case if I mess it up, or of course, if the camera got damaged a little bit, this is also good to protect the camera's body. So in case if that got scratched when I'm going to use the camera, I can replace the protective lens. But since I cannot replace the body, this skin will uh, allow me to do just that. So opening the box, let's see what they look like. They don't make it easy. Eh? There we go. All right, so in the box, we do have the skin themselves some kind of user manual that probably explain you in Chinese, oh, here you go, we got the English, how to install those, and some screen wipe, probably to clean the camera's body before installing the skin. And about the skin, here they are. I choose this basic logo. I was not going to spend too much time uh, choosing my design. It was just for the purpose of protecting my camera and to look a little bit different than just boring white. And also, if I'm with someone else that uh, used the same camera, I will have uh, a way to see the difference between my friend's camera and mine. So that's great. It's very lightweight. As you can see right now, it does not weigh anything really. So that's great. That does not add any more weight to your camera. And uh, here we go. It looks, uh, let's see if you can make some close up. It looks kind of okay. Of course, the design looks always better on your computer versus in real life when you receive it. Uh, they even warn you about that. But like, again, I'm okay with that. I was just going to have a way to make the difference between camera and be less boring, just plain white. All right, now let's install that on the go free. All right, getting ready to install the custom skin here. So I'm going to install this one and keep the other one secure just in case this one get damaged, then I have a replacement one. Now following the instruction of the user manual, very easy actually. All you have to do is unscrew 
the protective lens here first. So unscrewing that counterclockwise. There we go. Be careful because there is like a little O-ring inside to make the whole camera waterproof. So be sure to don't lose it. So be careful when you put that on the side. Remember, without this, even if it's just a lens protector, the camera will not be waterproof. So it needs its lens protector along with its little O-ring to make it fully waterproof up to five meters. So I'm going to put that on the side carefully. Next step. I'm going to clean the housing of the camera using the included screen wipe from Insta360. Some alcohol wipe. Very easy to use. And then be sure to clean all the surface of the camera where the skin will be applied. Without, if possible, touching the lens Otherwise, you are going to leave some smudge on the lens coming from this little pad. Since I'm here, I'm not going to waste this little pad and I'm going to clean the whole camera housing. There we go. Correctly. Before to throw that away. Now I'm going to wait until... A bit spot here. Now I need to wait until this alcohol fully dries. Once the alcohol is dry, that's the more delicate moment. So I'm going to use even more lights and magnify glasses. Here we go. Inspecting the body, be sure that everything is fine. Now I'm going to get the skin. And that's how it's going to be. I'm going just to present it now to have an idea how it goes. Pretty straightforward. Just need to align the microphone and the light with the cutouts on the skin. Microphone and light here, status light here. After I'm done having a good idea how this goes on, now I'm going to peel out the back of the sticker area. It's recommended if you have big finger like me to use some tweezer to be able to grab this little back paper, back plastic and peel it out. As you can see, using tweezer works much better to peel out this back plastic. It's quite hard still. Here we go. All right, now no mistake are acceptable because once it's on, that's it. The most delicate part. Right, the microphone is aligned, the light here, the status light here is aligned. Once I'm happy with everything, I can press, there we go, a little bit. And now I'm going to use the provided microfiber cloth to finish pushing the skin. Nicely everywhere, evenly. It is of course recommended that when you do that, you disable the automatic turn on of the camera when you press the button there, because I'm going to press a lot and you don't want the camera to turn on while you do this operation. All right, once the skin is installed on your camera and you're happy with it, now I'm going to double check the lens, be sure that there is no dust. In this case, then I will use this fiber cloth to clean the lens. There we go. And for more safety, before to put back the lens protector, I'm going to blow some air to remove, be sure to remove all the dust on the camera lens itself, but also inside the lens protector here. So. Et voilà. Normally everything is dust free and then I can reinstall the lens protector on the go free 
and to reinstall it you have to screw it clockwise this time and be sure it's a tight seal again because of the o-ring you want your camera to be waterproof and for this you need to have a good seal go, don't go crazy but you know you will feel it when it's uh, completely screwed all the way and one last little touch one last cleanup with a fiber cloth here we go clean lens clean camera clean body and new freshly installed skin on the go free hope this little tutorial was useful for you Now, bottom of the box, we do have here Comment ils appellent ça Putain, il va que je me rappelle <rire> Zip clip And of course, the camera will just up magnetically stay inside here. Here, are the security hooks that is. Oh, je vais pas y arriver. Hein? Action pod et pivot stand. And on the back uh, here, we do have some. Uh, sticky section and here we go in the box was the camera with the action pod It's this GoPro 2. <laughs> Opening the box, let's see how they look like. <laughs> don't make it easy, eh? There we go. 